Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Rissel and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So today we are going to be learning how to create a checklist box dynamically. So when you create a checklist box dynamically, you have to um, create it via code and as well as also give, it pro give the properties and the events to it um, with code. So let's actually start. Here I just have a basic GUI a form named FIM Home, a button and a scroll box. The, list, the checklist boxes will appear on the scroll box. So let's start. Before we go start creating it, we have to um, add the VCL dot uh, check LSD unit. Such so unit needs to be added added to the users list for it to recognize the T checklist box component. So let's start saying variable, then uh, check list box. It is of type T check list box let me say let me just copy this make it easier for me okay you can give it any any name you want okay, let me say then checklist box colon equals t check list box dot create so the great constructor wants um the parameter of owner so the owner is basically responsible for for destroying the component we want the form to be responsible, so we enter the form name here. So when the form is destroyed, then the form will be, re will be responsible for destroying the component as well. Let's add a parent. We want the parent to be the scroll box because we want um, the component to appear inside of the scroll box. So the parent is the scroll box. You can go ahead and read this made um, this note about the difference between owner, owner and parent in Delphi. You can pause the video and read this if you want. Okay, so let's continue. And let's actually create it. Let's start by aligning it to the left. Align AL left. Let's give it a width property. Width. Make the width 100. And let's actually. Mm, no, wait. Let's not do that. Uh, what can we do? Okay. Let's add, uh, let's change the font size of it, font dot size, colon equals, um, let's make a font size 20. Let's start, let's actually give it a random color, so it's an I color, colon equals, hmm, we actually do it different, but differently, okay, let's say, um, dot, Color. Let's give it a random color. So we just say random. And enter some number there. Then we'll choose random number um, between those things, and then give it to the color property. And if you want, you can give it your own color, such as, for instance, let's compile and actually see how this looks. Like now, it creates just a random color, as you can see. Or you can just go and give it your own color as well, to one such as the color dot that's key color I have instance cl black oops I just two semicolons in my so yes but, but I'm gonna be giving it a be giving it a random a random color which actually increase with also let's make it with 400 or 300 and let's in, add some um, random values to the list box check list box dot uh what's it items ah items dot add and yeah, then i'm just going to be adding some random names to it such as morally eric oh that's errol i'll let you leave errol there we say eric harrod me on Eugene and Jack Howell. Okay, there's some random names. Not completely random, but yeah. And that's actually it for now. So let's go and create this. And different ones are being created. Let's increase the need to 200. But as you guys can see, it's being created like on the left side. Like the new ones are okay, created on the left side. So let's fix that by saying. Uh, then check this box dot 
left or just give it some large integer value there okay that fixes that and as you can see now some random checklist books are created and even works like you can select different ones there so that works now let's give it an on click um, event let's go to the public declarations you can say procedure we say then check list box just give it your, your own name this is my name let me give it a sender the object and then in, in the implementation we say procedure g if i am um, to the checkbox and <clears throat> let's just um, show message to different items show message we say oops send it as t check list box dot items dot text now let's connect this procedure to the then check list box then check list box dot don't click event we said that equals the then check list box click procedure so let's compile let's have a click now on this one then it shows us the different names as well as this one of the names will now be the same of course but yes as you can see that works so thanks, thanks for watching guys, this was just a basic tutorial on how to create a checklist box dynamically. If this video helped you in any way, then please make sure to leave a like, um, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!